And so this is what was motivating him. It was a conceptual puzzle. A kind, I mean, you could say an aesthetic puzzle at a certain level or the idea that certain kinds of explanations, right? Again, I mean, the basic principle is symmetries in the phenomena ought to be mirrored by the same symmetries in the theoretical explanation. So that's what really bothered him. And that's why the theory, you know, the theory was called on the electrodynamics of moving bodies. Now, if you read the, the, the paper, on the face of it, it doesn't present itself as a revolutionary theory about the structure of space and time exactly. And the title of it, again, nothing about relativity, on the electrodynamics of moving bodies. You can see why. That's the example. I've got some moving bodies and they have electric and magnetic fields. His math teacher, Minkowski, reads the paper and Minkowski understands how to represent the paper, as it were, in terms of space-time geometry. And that's why we call it Minkowski space-time and not Einstein space-time. And it actually takes a little while for Einstein to accept this, because that wasn't how he was thinking about it. But eventually he comes around and says, oh yeah, um, really what I'm doing is postulating a different space-time structure. 